I got to go to the bins, not once, but twice. So I have a huge haul to show you. I got, I don't remember how many pounds I got. I'll put it down here somewhere. I went to the Gary Indiana bins location and I have been really, really enjoying that location. I know in my previous like year ago videos that I said I was not a fan of that location, but it has become my favorite location. I have a wonderful new friend that also helps me um, with listing and everything and she's amazing. So Candace, if you're watching this, I appreciate you and I miss you. <laughs> I don't like working by myself anymore. Once I got a taste of having somebody work with me, it's, it's no longer fun. Anyways, all right, let's just jump into this haul because I want to also get some other work done, but I also want to get this haul done because I don't know when I'll be able to have time to record because holidays are here and family is starting to fly in. So let's jump in. My average cost per item is about a dollar, a dollar fifty to two dollars. So this first item is not very exciting, but these always sell pretty quick for me. These are Old Navy cargo shorts. Let me step back a little bit. And these are men's size 36. I do enjoy selling cargo stuff. It typically sells pretty quick. Doesn't matter the brand, at least for me it doesn't. I actually think Candace found this. I still have to button it up and steam it. But it's a new tag Liz Claiborne dress. Kind of hard to see. Um, but this retails for $128. That is crazy. It's a four P, so a four petite. But um yeah, I figured it was new with tags and why not? Alright, my next item, Candace also found this. Uh, this is the Limited. I don't normally pick this brand up, but this style is definitely trendy right now. It has like all the different cores, like uh, fairy core, uh, cottage core. I don't know, I feel like light academia maybe too. I don't know, I just, it's this beautiful mesh with some lace detailing here in the front with some sequins and some beads. Yeah, a little bit of beading. And this is a size medium. I do not know how much I'll get for this. I'm hoping $20, but we'll see. And it also has a cute little tie. All right, this next item is very heavy. But comps on this brand, they were they were good. Good enough for me to pick up. This is a new, new to me brand. This is Donnie Brook, and this is made in the U. It's made in the Ukraine. It's this gorgeous wool jacket. It's long sleeve with a nice little contrasting uh, cuff. I don't even think I'll be able to show you very well. Um, definitely long, and it has this in the back, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. This is a size 10, it is lined, it's also wool, and this was in very good shape. I don't remember if there was anything wrong with it. From my, me looking it over at the bins, I didn't find anything. Um, yeah, 100% wool. And then the lining is acrylic cotton, or no, rayon. The shell is 100% wool, and then, yeah. Anyway, my arm hurts, I gotta put this down. I just, I thought the color was also beautiful with the dark, with the black contrasting of the color and the cuffs. I just thought it was beautiful. And it has shoulder pads and pockets on the side. So it's a, it's a win-win. Right, this next item I got, or Candace also found. <laughs> I picked this up because I thought it was just really cool and it reminded me of my grandma because she would wear stuff like this and she still wears stuff like this. This is Out, Out Brook. It's a size large. It's just a printed fleece jacket. I really like selling these kinds of things. I just feel like they're unique and um, 
is fun to list and to do research on. However, there is just one little flaw with this, which I might try to fix, but I also just think I'll sell it as is. Or I just might keep it, I don't know. I don't know what comps are for these, but Goodwill wanted $20 for it, so. And then, we, oh, this is the day that my um, my other friend came with us. Well, she met us there, my, um, my one of my best friends from Chicago. She didn't want this item because she doesn't have luck selling this brand, but I figured this would make a really pretty New Year's dress, possibly. It's one shoulder with some really, oop, some really fun little detail on, on one side. So I don't know how well this will do. I'm hoping to get $20 for it, but we'll see. It is a size six. This next item is just really funny. I had to, sh I had to. Life is good. Main squeeze. I just thought it was so cute. And this is a size small, just a classic little t-shirt crew neck with a fun graphic. We have Zara, just a basic crew neck sweater, gray sweater. I'm not sure if this is a men's or a women's. There is just a little bit of pilling, but I thought it was worth picking up. It is a size large. I'm guessing this might be like women's large. I don't know. It looks small to me. I got it because I thought it was vintage, but I don't know for sure. And it's also Disney. This, I like selling Disney because it typically sells pretty quick. And I've never seen this tag before. And I thought it was worth, excuse the noise that's about to happen. My furnace is pop it kicking on, so. Um, but yeah, it has Tigger. Run with the wind, Disneyland. It doesn't have like any specific dates. It's a size small. It is double stitch, so I don't think it's vintage, but I thought it looked vintage enough to sell. All right, this next find is just a fun sweater. I think this brand is just sold at TJ Maxx, but it's a size small. Nice little speckled open front cardigan. Such a fun little piece. It's not like you're typical chunky knit sweaters that are just a solid color. I feel like this has some like interesting details to it to make it fun. found this brand, I don't know if it was my last bins haul, but I found this brand for the first time recently from the bins, but I found a pair of jeans and those sold like in a day. So I'm gonna try the shorts. I didn't find any long pants or jeans. But I did find these, and these are a size 1XL. So, I don't know how much I'll get for these, but I think I got $30 for the pair of jeans that I got. I have another Zara item. This is a size medium. A nice little floof on there. Short sleeve, crew neck, striped t-shirt. Nothing too fancy. This next brand is a new to me brand, so I know nothing about it. This is Organics, Organic Generation, size medium, 100% cotton. This is Lame Bryant. These are a size 24 short. I don't try to pick this brand up anymore because it just sits for me, but I thought these were trendy enough to try. They have the plaid. And I could definitely tag like dark academia or light academia. Um, I forget all the other ones, but I will definitely tag those. So, and they're plus size. So I'm really hoping that these do well. This next piece is so pretty. I wish I could have found another one, but it's so pretty. I need to get this listed fast because this is a really cute holiday sweater or a holiday item. It's a velvet. Right? This is velvet pleated. Let me step out here. It's so hard because my ceilings are so short in here. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. And this brand is Ruby, which I think it's like fast fashion. I don't know. Um, it's a size XXXL. Stretchy, pleated, beautiful color. I think this will definitely sell really well. And actually, it was funny because today 
at church I saw somebody wearing a style exactly almost exactly like this except in a different color it was like a emerald green but I think this color looks good on anyone and it's stretchy so I think this will do well. I have on yet another new tag piece. This is just New York and Company and it's a size medium but it's so hard to resist the new tag stuff. These are wide leg and they have like a shimmer to them. They almost look like they're leather but they're not. Um, elastic waist. These, oh I guess these are a straight leg. <laughs> cuts and they have pockets and they're pretty lightweight so and that just looks like a wide leg to me whatever I have another Zara item a nice little mini dress with some very interesting sleeves <laughs> it's like tulips no tiered tiered not tulips this is Zara woman and it's a size small Zara has so many like different lines I think this can be worn off the shoulder if you really wanted to. This next item is just Banana Republic, but I just thought it was so adorable. You, me, we. Um, it's a size small and it's an Italian merino wool blend. It's black. I don't know, I just thought it was just so cute. And it's at the bin, so it's like I'm not I'm hardly paying anything for it. Right, we have another new attack item. It's just Lauren Conrad. It's an XXL, but it's new with tags. I just have a really hard time passing these items up. It's a nice stretchy tank, and it's in a nice neutral color. Um, yeah, hopefully it sells. I probably will only get like $15 for it, but it's worth it in my book. We have these men's bullhead, which is sold like at, I think at PacSun. These bullhead, yes, bullhead shorts with the drawstring these are a size large skinny large these are from two different trips it's not all from one trip all right i think this is actually one of my recent items no no eh, mm, i don't know another new with tags this is calvin klein i love this color um this is a size extra large and this looks like it was at macy's all right i picked this up based on style fashion bug which I don't normally pick this brand up I actually remember shopping at this uh, store with my grandma when I was younger but I just thought it was interesting and I feel like it hit all the style tags for cottage core it has embroidered floral detailing in the front button up short sleeve so yeah and it's plaid Fingers crossed it does well. This next item is fun. Some Simpsons. I used to watch this when I was younger. It's a hoodie. And this is an H&M collab. I've never seen this collab from H&M. It's a size small. Here's the tag. So yeah, I'm excited to list this, see how well it does. And to see if H&M collab lines do better than the regular line. Right, and then we have Zaya Act. Zaya. I couldn't remember if these if this was a good brand I feel like it is and if so this is my first time finding it well I actually can't have found it so thanks girl these are a jogger style size extra large too nice pockets these are really soft they feel like they're well made does have a little bit of pilling down here, but I can definitely take care of that. It's not a problem. I don't know what the brand is, but I kind of have a feeling it's Loft or like Ann Taylor. It's this really pretty green mock neck with some striped detailing on the sleeves, um, like poncho type thing. Um, I feel like it's Ann Taylor because of the tags are on the other side. Usually the tags on Loft or Ann Taylor, they're on the... when I go to photograph it, it's on this side. Anyways, it's it's usually switched than what the normal, where the normal tags are at. Oh. Alright. Another new attack item. 
These are just a pair of bikini bottoms. They are from Cupshe. These are a size medium. Here we have J. Jill striped top, three quarter length sleeves with a nice little bell flare to them. I don't know the size because that's cut out. And then we have Athleta. These are the Elation Capri, Elation, size medium. Really like this color. I wish they were full length because then I would keep them. But then we have a pair of Michael Kors size 36 shorts. I will pick up regardless of the season. So I list all kinds of things. I'm, I've sold bikinis in winter and sweaters in summer. So, um, oh, and these are recent. These are summer 2020. So and these are in really good condition. I've never sold Michael Kors men's shorts before, so I'm not sure how much I'll get for these. Maybe 20, 25. I definitely prefer to pick up men's shorts more than women's because with women's shorts, I find tend to just sit. So here we have another men's shorts. These are Columbia and these are a size 34. Nice little hiking short cargo. I will definitely tag cargo on those. Oh yeah, this is just a fun piece. I don't pick this brand up. I rarely pick it up. I should say it's a 3XL, but I thought the graphic was cool. Thought someone on the West Coast might like it. And it's tie-dye, so not sure if this is men's or women's or if Aeropostal even sells men's. I'm not sure. All right, then I found these fashion, no, no misguided uh, biker shorts. These are size six. Wow, these are really small for a six. Uh, green elastic waist. <laughs> these look more like a two to me. But, uh, we'll see. Okay, I found some jeans. Some torrid jeans. These are a size 14 crop boyfriend. These are just an easy 20 bucks. Oh yeah, I hit the torrid jackpot this round, or this day. Another torrid pair of jeans, and these are a 14T, 14 tall, uh, distressed boyfriend jeans. These are a lighter wash, so I'll hopefully get another $20 for these. Another torrid item, this is a size 2, which I think is a 2X. It's a really adorable striped dress and it's a faux wrap and it does tie in the back as well didn't notice any flaws short sleeve and then i found these oh i got these for myself these are just nine west which is sold at kohl's if i don't like the color on these then i'll just sell them or if they look like too big in the legs because i have pretty skinny legs I don't, I don't have a big rumpus, so it's kind of hard for me to find pants that fit in the back that look halfway decent. So I gotta try these on, and if I end up selling them, then I'll sell them, which I have a feeling I might. Found myself a good old big bra. Wowzers. <laughs> this is, I feel like covering my whole head. This is one of my favorite brands, Cacique, size 46H. Can you imagine if I had these size of knockers? Whew. That would not be a good look. Anyways, <laughs> nice big bra. These, the bigger sizes sell really well for me. They typically sell pretty quick. So I always pick them up. And I've actually sold some that were stained, had pit stains and stuff. So I meant to look this up when I was at the bins and I didn't. I must have got buried. FLX. No idea what this is. It's a size medium. I thought it was men's and I was going to give it to my husband, but it's like cropped. So I think it's women's. It feels nice. So I'll let you know how the brand is. This had a bug on it when I was at the bins. So I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that it didn't travel with it. Z by Zella is a size medium. It's a nice little 
sweater thing. Again, sorry, it is cold now, so that thing is kicking on to warm up our house. Speaking of houses, here's a, a life update. We potentially sold our house. We are looking to buy a bigger house because my reselling business is taking up a lot of space. In fact, it's taking up our whole basement and we had another baby. So <laughs> we need a bigger house because um, my boys don't really have room. They can't really share a room right now because my youngest is still in a crib and my oldest is in a, a, a full-size bed. <laughs> um, someone interested in our house so we potentially will be out of here like next year, early next year. We need to find a house. So and we have not found one. As you know, the market has been. Found this really pretty dress. I really need to buy a camera. I didn't like the GoPro that we had. It stopped charging, so we got rid of it. Or we returned it. <sighs> okay, so I found this really cute jumpsuit. This is, I don't know what that is, I've never heard of it. I bought this based on style and size, it's an extra large. It's a cute little floral print with some wide. I'm gonna have to step back, hold on. Wide leg with a bigger floral print on the bottom. So, let's move on to shoes. I found a couple of Sinooks. These are a quick seller. You can typically get $15. I think that's how much I got for my last ones. I don't remember. Found some nice Sauconies. This is my husband's favorite brand and they are size seven. These, I did not look to see what size they were. These are a size 11. So I might see if my, my sister-in-law wants these because she has a size 11 foot. So I'm gonna leave these out. But these were in good condition. So, and I really like the color combination. So I'm hoping that these sell well. They do need just a little bit of cleanup and I have some really nice shoe cleaner that I recently, well, that I use. These are the Saucony Cohesion. And then I found these Clark's Prevo. Um, I grabbed these because they were in really good condition and I wanted to try them try to sell them and these are a size eight and a half another pair of Sinook and these are actually my size size six but I'm not gonna keep these I'll sell them I just I really liked the fabric on there all right this next pair of shoes I saw from a distance and I instantly thought they were Rothy's <laughs> I still have yet to find Rothy's because these are not Rothy's these are Steven, which I think is Steve Madden. I could not find the size anywhere, but these are just so cute that I had to snag these. These look like an eight, but they look also pretty narrow. So I need to do more research on these. Um, they're like camel print with the pointed toe. I really love my pointed toe Rothy's. I actually wore them today at church. They're just so easy and so elegant and simple. It's so nice, so comfortable. So, yeah, I just, I could not find the size anywhere. And then I found these adorable J. Crew flats. I think these are like the Diorce? Diorce? I don't know. Uh, they do have some wear just from being thrown around in the bin, but they don't really look like they've been worn. And these are a size seven and a half and Goodwill wanted ten dollars for them. So, oh, and these are the J. Crew factory line. And then I found these Via Spiga loafers. These were blah, blah, blah. these were $185, but they were on sale for $138. Um not sure where these were sold. I'm guessing Nordstrom, but I don't know. They are a leather upper. They are size eight and a half. They are just adorable. And yeah, once again, I don't really think these were worn. And if they were, maybe once or twice because they're like, I don't see anything like wrong on the inside. Maybe they were tried on. I don't know. 
well maybe somebody did wear them because it has this thing in the back so maybe i could i don't know not sure but i thought they were cute and trendy enough to sew and then i found my favorite shoe brand to sew Salomon. I love selling this brand. I can always, I always, it always sells quick for me. And these are Ortholite. Which ones are these? XR Mission 1. I can typically get $50 for them. And these are a size 7. I just need to clean them up. But other than that, they are great. I did the little bendy test thing and no holes. So I'm really excited to sell these because 50 bucks, man. I think I could get them. All right, those are the shoes from one of my trips. I do know that I have more shoes over there somewhere. So I'm going to go get the next bag of stuff. Oh, no, I have a bag right here. So I started digging through the hard good bins. And I am so happy that I started doing this because, one, I found a beautiful... 300 it retails i think for 300 dollars bread machine zarushi i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right i have been on the lookout for one of these bread makers because i i'm gluten-free and i hear that these are they work really well for gluten-free bread and they do because i have made some gluten-free bread and i've also been making bread for everyone because <laughs> it's just so easy you just throw everything in there and it does it all itself what I really like about this is that the bread is like a normal loaf of bread. Normally, bread makers, or at least my last bread machine, it all stood up instead of like this way. So I'm really excited about that. And, I, and if I did want to resell it, I think I could get, I think comps were like 150 So used, and it was used. Um, I cleaned it up. I was just, I was blown away that I found it and I think I paid by weight like $30 for it so awesome find for me so I've been starting to dig through the hard good bins a little bit more and I did find some hard good items to resell all right this first item is a pair of uh, filters no idea what they filter but Comps were selling for 20 bucks, so I think I'm gonna list them for $20. There are two, and they're new, so thought I'd try it. And I don't have to like measure any of those things on like clothing, so I feel like I could photograph hard good items a lot faster than clothing. <laughs> and then this next item, I got this iRobot charging dock station. Goodwill wanted $2.99. I have to test this just, just to make sure that it works. Uh, but these were selling for, I think, $23 to $30 online. Um, so, yeah. It was all there. I didn't find the vacuum to it. <laughs> but I feel like, um, yeah. But I think this will still sell. I have hardly luck selling vacuum stuff. Because I bought a, a bag of dyson vacuum parts and the pieces inside i only paid ten dollars for the whole bag and i sold i think i only have like one or two left and they all sold between 10 to 20 dollars a piece so definitely made a nice profit on that so i wanted to try a docking station <laughs> i follow um homeschooling homeschooling picking mama or I don't remember homeschooling I don't remember her channel name but she picks up a lot of like Christmas stuff hard goods and this was new in the box I opened it and everything's there it works and it actually plays music I could not find comps for this exact one online but i think i'm gonna try to sell it for 30 dollars i know nothing of this brand i don't even actually know what the brand is but it plays frosty the snowman um 
World Bazaars. So maybe I'll look that up, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is a bad pickup. I mean, it is kind of heavy, but not like super heavy. So I don't know. We'll see. And this I found. It's a one of those like Polaroid type pictures, I think. Something like that. Actually, now, now I'm not positive. I thought it was, but it looks like you insert a floppy disk here. Anyways, this was selling on eBay for about $20. And this is in pretty good condition. The lens isn't cracked. So, again, easy listing because I could just do sell as, have all that information typed out for me. And just take pictures of them. I know I got more hard goods than that. I know because I got uh, like a an ornament that could sell for like $20. <laughs> and it was new. Um, so if I find those items, maybe I'll pop in a picture. But I think I actually have them upstairs. Anyway. So that's all the hard goods that I have right here. Might find more. But moving on to clothing. These are O'Neal shorts. Men's. I love selling men's shorts and these are a size 34 it has a like a nice little micro chevron i don't know i also found a ton of clothing for my boys and for my nieces so and for my dad so those items are also not in, being shown in this because i gave them away <laughs> and they're washed in their in their uh dressers and this next item is a Vineyard Vines pullover ends. This is, I don't know the size. Maybe that's why people didn't grab this. That's so weird. Yeah, not sure the size because I believe it is cut out. But if I had to guess, it looks like a large. So this is like a pinkish, a pinkish red or orange. I don't know. Is Vineyard Vines like a Martha's Vineyard brand? Is that where it originated from? Because isn't Martha's Vineyard like for like super rich people? Don't, isn't that like where super rich people live if I remember correctly? I don't know. Alright, I found this adorable torrid sweater. It's a size one. Look at the heart prints. Oh, it's so cute. There is a flaw. I thought I remember. Oh yeah. There's just like a tiny little thing there. But oh, it's just so cute. Found this Bravado graphic band tee. Medellica. Which one? Which one? Master of Puppets. My older brother likes Metallica. Not sure what the size is. It's very, very rubbed off. I don't know. Maybe it's a medium large. I found these Sanctuary cargo camo pants. These are a size 28. I don't normally pick this brand up because it is a slow mover. But camo print does really well for me. It has nice little raw hem. Button fly. Wide leg. Straight leg. I don't know. Hopefully I find out by the time I list them. Torrid leggings sell pretty well for me. These are a size 2. And they have nice little lace detail in the fronts. Another brassiere. Um, and this is Uniqlo. That's why I grabbed it, because I've never sold a Uniqlo bra. This is a 34 AA. What? guess it can fit these other sizes too. I don't know. I found a lot of Torrid this time. Size 1. Cute multicolor striped tank. Torrid double zero white lace. Right? No, eyelet? I don't know. White blouse. I feel like this could also be cottage core or like light academia. Oh, I found vintage batteries. Well, I actually Candace found these. 
I was gonna wanna use them myself, but then my husband's like, these are expired. So what I'm thinking is that these could be used like in a movie set. I'm hoping like a production company, movie production company will buy these because I don't think Kodak makes batteries anymore. I could be wrong, but, and I did see some on eBay that were opened, that were selling. I don't remember what they were selling for, but I'm hoping I could at least get 10 to $15 for these. There's a little bit of damage to the packaging, but just a couple more bags. I did not know 511 Tactical made women's stuff. I found these cargo shorts. I found these L.L. Bean men's jeans. These are in really good condition. These are size 35, 32. I might keep these for myself. These are Banana Republic Sloan black pants. I think I could wear these for church. Well, this was fun to find at the bins. I found this at like a regular Goodwill, but never at the bins. It's Beta brand, and I did not know that they had like printed leggings. They are known for their like business yoga business attire. And I have sold this brand pretty quick in the past, so I don't know how well their legging, printed leggings will do, but worth a shot to find out if you find them at the bins. And then I found a pair of Can Can. These are size five or 26. Sure they are tiny. Um, just a basic pair of black skinny jeans with a destroyed raw hem. All right, I found the cutest new tag Target dress and it's so hard to say no to these new tag items. It's Ava and Viv. It's their plus size line at Target. It's a 2X. Look at this gorgeous piece. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. You know, Target does have some pretty cute items. It has nice, um, it has a ruffle hem. It's really hard to show off dresses, but absolutely stinking cute. And it's new with tags. So excited to list this. Right. I've never found Ala full length leggings before. These are like a moto style. And they are size large. I'm really excited about these. I don't know how well Ala yoga, Ala yoga stuff is selling for anymore, but I know back then they were selling pretty well. So I don't know how much I'll give her these. The dress I was looking for today, I was gonna wear this to church because it's a nice little sweater dress. And what is the brand? It's the Rachel Zoe. Size so small, but yeah, I wanted it for myself. Jack and Janny, I do like selling this brand. It's a cute little holiday sweater. I, I probably should list this tonight. It is a size 2T. It's a London Fog trench jacket. It's in really good condition. So hard to show off these things, but trust me, it's very nice. And I think the size was size eight, if I remember correctly. More to do with tag. These are some pull-on, uh, super soft, stretchy pants. These are size medium. Actually, I think Candace gave me these. She found them at the bins. I think, uh, and they didn't fit her. This Puma, this Puma sports bra. And the size, I don't know. This really pretty Target top that I might wear a couple times. I've sold this before. I sold it in like a nude color. This is Miracle Suit, uh, size large, and it's like a little cincher. And I got $11 for it last time, so I'll probably get $11 for this one. Oh, and this loft blouse. I just thought it was pretty. This Shein blouse, whoop. Shein curve. Really pretty floral blouse. It comes with a tie. 
Oh, okay. This I got for myself. Sincerely Jules um, dress. But I think I'm going to sell it. There is a flaw. This is coming undone here. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Another new attack item. This is Loft. Really pretty pull on pants. Nice tapered leg. This Lands End striped wool sweater. Size extra large. These really pretty leggings. These are Balance Collection, size medium. I grabbed these because I wanted to try this brand and I thought the print was really pretty. I got this Y2K mini skirt. This is Bullhead, which is like a Paxon brand, I think. Carhartt. Car -la -la. Carpenter jeans. These are a relaxed fit. 40 by 30. They're carpenter because of the little hook here. You can shove your hammer on it. So, yeah. I know I am missing a pack of shoes. I found it. I found this fossil bag. It's leather. Has some wear, but found a couple hats. Here we have Life is Good. 100% um, cotton. I don't see a size right off right away, but it has a cute little embroidered dog. I found some Birkenstocks. These are Bedula. Bedula. Uh, size 40. So I think these are my sister in law size. So I may see if she wants them. I grabbed them because I thought the, the leaf here was pretty cool. Just a fun graphic a t shirt. This is a size large. I liked the florals. Oh yes, a J. Crew size small tie dye tank. And this Space Jam hat. It needs some cleaning. I don't know if this is vintage or not. Probably not. Anyway, a new to me brand, Elite by Corky's. Thought they were very ugly, but probably artsy or something. I found these fry moccasin loafer things that has seen better days. And these are a size six. Oh my god, these are my size. These two cups, I don't know, lightweight. Do you want to try it? My vacuum part. <laughs> this is another shark item. Oh no, I guess this is the first shark item. Uh, I think these were selling for $20 on eBay. And this, I don't know if this has been used. It looks very clean. All right, I'm gonna end on the shoes. Aren't these just so pretty? This is a brand I've never found before. I don't know if you'll see it. It's Soul Society. They're just really pretty. I don't know if they've been worn. I found these J. Crew flats for myself that I think I'll just end up selling. And then the best find. Do you know what these are? These are Fry. And. I found both of these fry shoes same day after they rolled out the new bin and after people had scoured through them. I don't know what they were thinking. Why were why did not why did nobody pick these up? So I'm happy nobody picked them up because I don't know how much I'll get for these, but I know the taller boots tend to sell better than the shorter ones and I have found short ones there before once before and they sold for I think $75 and these are a size 10. I know I'm missing a few things here and there uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video and that it was entertaining or just I don't know fun to watch. I love watching haul videos especially Ben's haul videos because you never know what you're gonna find there and this video was a lot longer than I was hoping it would be. So I am going to sign off. 
um, list a few items and go to bed. I am very, very exhausted. I had to wake up early this morning. My son had a few programs that he was in. So yeah, a lot of running around and <laughs> very early morning. But thank you so much for watching. This will probably be my last video of the year and maybe I'll see you next year. Maybe I might do a what's sold in a week video uh, before the year ends, but we'll see. I might be too busy. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye. You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that.